mental system, you're looking at it in its state space. Its evolution is a trajectory in state space, and that state space could be low dimensional, could be high dimensional, but trajectory is easy to visualize because it's one dimensional curve. However, if you look for a longer time, if the flow is recurrent, if you don't have just a transient flow, then it'll get more and more complicated, the state space will get filled out, and it's going to be very hard to understand what's going on, especially when the flow is chaotic or in case of extended system, turbulent. So, what to do? Well, there are three techniques which are very useful, which will reveal the nature of the flow, just like when you do a surgery and you open something else to see what it looks like. And they are sectioning, so section, they're slicing, and they're dicing. Uh, sectioning you use any time you have a dynamical flow and you're interested in its long-time evolution. Instead of looking at trajectory, you look at it, it's in sections, so you take a cut across the trajectory, and if the flow is recurrent, then in this section, which is called Poincaré section, there'll be a number of points that will be explored by it. And it turns out, when you look at this section, instead of the flow itself, the dynamics is revealed because what's important about flow is the transverse nature of the flow, not the what happens along the flow. There isn't much information there because if you know one point on the flow, you, you know the whole trajectory in principle. But you're interested in what happens to the neighbors, and that's revealed in the section which is transverse to the flow. And uh, what's revealed there is uh, in a special important solutions like equilibria, periodic solutions, and more importantly what's revealed is there are stable and unstable manifolds. And uh, they can be understood very accurately in the neighborhood of the flow because linearization of the flow is very simple to do, and <coughs> the eigenvectors of the linearized flow or the Jacobian of the flow are easy to compute but they are the beginnings of unstable and stable manifolds, and those things are invariant, are the pin to your invariant solutions, are computable because you have the eigenvectors, and you can continue from the eigenvectors, but they are curved things that tell you where you go all across a Gothic flow, so they'll be incredibly useful to